Good day everyone. I'm your Mr. ATL and I'm gonna teach you a math lesson. So, ang pinili kong topic ay simplifying fractions dahil alam ko na karamihan sa inyo ay nahihirapan pagdating dito sa fraction. So, mag-start tayo sa simplifying fractions. Uh, meron ditong 5 examples and we're going to reduce these fractions to its lowest terms. So, number 1 is 5 over 15. Um, we are going to use the method of prime factorizations wherein gagawin natin siyang uh, fac um, factors na puro mga prime numbers sa numerator at sa denominators. So pagka prime number, prime number na iiwan lang natin siya or we will just copy. So number 1 is 5 over 15. This is equal to 5. 5 is already a prime number. Over 15 is 5 times 3. So, we can cancel common factor of 5 because 5 divided by 5 is 1. May may iwang 1 doon, no? So, that is 1 over 3. Therefore, 5 over 15 is equal to 1 over 3. Question number 2 is 12 over 15. So, again, we will express the numerator as a prime factors of Pwede siyang 4 times 3, pero 4 is not a prime factor. Gagawin natin siyang 2 times 2. So, magiging 2 times 2, bali 4 na yan, times 3 pa to make it 12. All over, 15 is 5 times 3 or 3 times 5. Gawin natin 5 times 3 para align tong 3 and 3 kasi ikakancel natin yan. So, may iwan dyan sa numerator. Hindi pa ako masyadong sanay gumamit ng tablet at ng stylus. Pero kaya yan. So, the, the answer is 4 over 5. Okay, next number 3 is 24 over 40. So, pwede natin siyang gawing... Uh, dito, pwede na natin siyang gawing 8 times 3. At sa baba ay 8 times 5. Pero sir, sabi ni sir, dapat prime factors. Yes, pwede siya. Pero kung for as long as na may nakita ka ng common factor doon sa numerator at denominator, mas okay na ganyan para mas mabilis nating ma-simplify. So, divide na natin. That is 1. And batitira is 3 over 5. Kasi ganun din, let's say for example, yung 24 gagawin mo 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Over sa baba ay 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. So, ito ay 24, no? Ito naman ay 40. So, cancel din yan. Cancel, cancel. And the answer is still 3 over 5. So, mas okay na, mas mabilis yung ganito, di ba? Okay, next. Number 4 is 12 over 36. So, 12 over 36, pwede na natin itong ayusin natin yung equals natin. Ang pa na sulit ko. So, gawin natin itong uh, 4 times 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So, 36, the, um, i-factor natin, pwede naman siyang isipin nyo 6 times 6. Pero kasi wala siyang kaparehas doon, no? Pwede naman natin yung gawin 4 times, oops, ayusin, 4 times 9. So, cancel 4 and 4, that is 3 over 9. But 9 can be written as 3, as a factor of 3 and 3. So, that will be, may may iwang 1. So, that is 1 over 3. Sana nakakasunod kayo kasi importante talaga to. Next, number 5 is 29 over 35. So, isip ka ng factors ng 29. But as you can see, 29 is already a prime number. So, just copy. So, 35, if you will factor 35, that is 7 times 5 or 5 times 7 or 1 times 35. So, wala na magiging common factor. So, with this, Ang gawin nyo, just copy. Kasi wala rin siyang kakapat, magiging kapareha sa factor doon sa numerator except 1. So, this is already the answer. 
But that is not our main topic because our main topic is all about the operations on fractions or the adding and subtracting fractions. So let's go to the next page. And I'm going to put the question here by adding an image and selecting files from the desktop. Ito yun. So, ito na. Okay. So, I hope na maintindihan niyo pa itong mabuti. Kasi karamihan talaga sa mga naging estudyante ko nahihirapan sa fractions. At kailangan-kailangan nyo to if you're going to deal with different problems in calculus, in even in geometry, in algebra, ginagamit ito kahit sa, kahit sa ang branch ng mathematics. Takot na kasi sila pagdating sa fraction. Okay, so... The question in number 1 is 3 over 4 plus 1 fourth. So, as you can see, the denominators are already the same. So, just copy the denominator that is over 4. Then, add or subtract the numerator. Since it is addition, 3 plus 1, i-add natin yan. That is 4. Okay? Pag same numerator, same denominator, kinakancel. But may matitira siyang 1. So, the answer is 1. Or, in your real life situation, um, 3 fourths na bigas, dagdagan mo ng 1 fourth na bigas, di ba nagiging isang kilo? So, our answer is correct. Number 2, 1 half plus 1 fourth. Um, we cannot combine or we cannot copy the denominator there since they are not the same. So, ang gagawin natin, we can apply the smile method or by using the LCD. Gamitin muna natin yung by using the um, yung ano, smile method. That is 1 half plus 1 fourth. So in smile method, okay, i-drawing mo yung smile niya. So that is 2 times 4 is 8. Then, starting from the left, 1 times 4, that is 4. Plus, sa right naman, 1 times 2 equals 2. So, adding this up, it will give you 6 over 8. But 6 over, over 8 should be, redu should be reduced in lowest term. So, with that, we have to express it as a factor of prime numbers. That is 2 times 3, sa baba, 2 times 4. Common factor is 2, that will be 3 over 4. So, the answer is 3 fourths. Okay, next. Now, uh, we are going to use the other method, which is by using the LCD. Okay. So, in this part, um, the LCD of 2 and 4 is 4. So, we will divide it for, for the, by the new denominator and then multiply by the numerator. 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. Plus, 4 divided by 4 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So, we will get the same answer as 3 fourths. So, which method ang mas gusto nyo? Yung first or yung second? So, whatever method, it's alright for as long as your computation is correct. So, again, number 2, the answer is 3 fourths. Next. In number 3, the question is 3 fourths minus 1 half. So, let us use the smile method first. In smile method, let us write the question first. 3 fourths minus 1 half. So, multiply these denominators. That will be 4 times 2 is 8. Starting from the left, 3 times 2 is 6. Since it is minus, just copy the symbol for subtraction. Then 1 minus, 1 times 4 is 4. Okay, so 6 minus 4 is 2 over 8. But, um, we can reduce this to its lowest term. Gamitin natin prime factorization. 2 times 4 is 8. Okay, pwede na i-cancel, no? Ayan, dyan kayo mahilig sa pagka-cancel. So, may may iwang 1 sa numerator. So, the answer will be 1 over 4. By the use of LCD naman, the LCD of 4 and 2 is 2. Then, again, again, sorry, sorry. 
The LCD of 4 and 2 is 4. Then 4 divided by 4 is 1 times 3 is 3. Minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1 over 4. You will get the same answer naman. Pero kung nahirapan ka kasi sa pagkuha ng LCD ka agad, um, gamitin mo yung first method, yung smell method. Next, um, by the way, the, quest, uh, the answer in number 3 is 1 4. Okay, number 4. In number 4, um, I will just write first the question. 12 over 15 plus 3 over 5. Okay, so multiply the denominator. That will be 75. Oops, using natin pagsula kasi baka malito tayo. And then, 12 times 5 is 60. 3 times 15 is 45. So, 60 plus 45, 105 over 75. So, Reducing to its lowest term, the factors of 105 are 21 times 25, uh, 21 and 5. 75 is 5 times 15. So, cancel. 21 and 15 can be written as 3 times 7. Dito naman sa 15 is 3 times 5. So, cancel this. The answer is 7 over 5. Or, we can express this using mixed fractions. That will be 5. So, ilang 5 meron sa 7? Isa, ilan na sobra? Dalawa. So, the answer is 1 and 2 pips. So, again, 1 and 2 pips. Okay, let us use or let us show the other um, computation by the use of LCD. So, the LCD of 15 and 5 is 15. Then, 15 divided by 15 is 1 times 12 is 12. Plus, 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 3 is 9. So, 12 plus 9 is 21 over 15. Then, simplifying to its lowest term, that will be um, by 3 3 times 7 and this is by 3 also 3 times 5 so still it will give you the same answer 7 over 5 or 1 and 2 fifths so let's go to the last question the 12, minus, 12 over 15 minus 3 over 5 so as you can see, they are having different denominators oh, by the use of LCD. That is, the, the, the LCD is 15. 15 divided by 15 is 1 times 12 is 12. Minus 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 3 is 9. So 12 minus 9, that is 3 over 15. But this is nice, this not yet the final answer because we have to reduce to its lowest term. That is 3 and 15 is 3 times 5. So cancel this. May matitin ng 1. That is 1 over 5. Okay. For, by the use of the smile method, that is the 12 over 15 minus 3. Oops. Wait. 3 over... What's happening? Yeah. 3 over... Hindi ko masulit yung 3. Over... Wait. Kung yung nangyari. Okay. Ando natin. Tanggalin natin. Oh, that is 3. Oh, ilipat na lang natin live kasi ito. Okay, dito sa baba. Number 5. The question is, 
12 over 15 minus 3 over 5. By the use of the smile method, multiply, that is 75. Okay, ito naman, 12 times 50, 60 minus 3 times 15, 45. And then 60 minus 45 is ilan? Oops. That is 15 over 75. Okay, reducing to its lowest term, 15 is 5 times 3. 75 is 5 times 15. Oh, pwede na to. So, 3 and 15, pwede siya sa 3. Dito naman sa 15 is 3 times 5. So, cancel. May may iwang 1. So, the answer is 1 over 15. Okay. So, kahit anong method na mas komportable kayo, yun na lang yung gagamitin nyo. At saka, I know na yung iba naman ay kayang-kaya ng um, kuhanin agad yung LCD o kuhanin ka agad yung lowest term ng isang fraction kahit sa isang tingin lang. So, I hope you learned something about my video. So, yun lang. Bye-bye.